Injuries were beginning to take their toll on Quinns in the second half. The gamble of playing unfit outside half, Nick Evans backfired when he had to leave the field. Players now starting to hit the canvas, Malone one of them. As Williams later said, Dean told me to tell Steph Brennan, one of the club's physios, that I'd be coming off for blood. Tom Williams came onto the field with one point between the teams and just ten minutes left. I understood from what Dean said that I'd be coming off at some point before the end of the match with a fake injury, but I had no idea how this would work. During a break in play, Williams was called over by the club physio. Steph came onto the pitch and told me to change positions with David Strettle. At this point, Steph handed me a blood capsule. I instinctively placed the capsule in my sock as there was nowhere else to put it. This was my first and only contact since I'd been handed the blood capsule, and it was therefore my opportunity to fake the injury. I returned to the fullback position and knelt down on one knee to bite the blood capsule. On the first attempt, the blood capsule fell from my mouth. I picked it up and bit it once again. Who punched Tom Williams in the mouth? Tom Williams? He later explained the reasoning behind his infamous wink. I was simply responding to one of my teammates, Jim Evans, who suggested that I should tough it out. My only intention was to reassure him that I had to come off. Here's a tap through by Little. No one in front. Jason Little, the Waratah skipper. Oh, he pulled the man down without the ball. Hardy was coming like a train across the try and cut this one off. Other number 13, Jason Little, has put him out of it. Still want to play. No more room. And again, Anthony Watson looks absolutely out cold. What can be described as a reckless challenge. And that is just football it's all push. over it. That is pathetic. Oh dear. And it could be thrilling, but it's turnover ball, it's Havana, oh! Farrell could be in trouble here. He could be in trouble. Well, he's just, he's just run the shoulder into him. He doesn't have to get out of the way, but he's not actually standing his ground. He's eased into him. Brian Havana has moved back. It is melodramatic. I mean, that's pretty poor from the yeah. bottom. Genia gives it to Sharp. Advantage. 